Hello Commanders, Commander Plater back again with another exploration update. Got a special one for you guys today, this is kind of an extra upload. Um, and I'm going to be talking about neutron stars, black holes and stars with rings. Yep, stars with rings. It's a new one on me too. So just starting off with a casual water world flyby. Um, as I said, I am enjoying the graphical updates that, that um, they've put in. And straight on to the uh, black hole. So as you can see, you can't see it at all. It's barely there, um, and when you jump into a system with one, you're about 4,000 um, megameters away from it. Sorry, four megameters away. Um, as you can see here, this one actually has um, five T Tauri stars that orbit it. Um, now you can't see the actual star, the actual black hole itself, but what you do get to see is the effect of it. Now um, here we have another another water world, and something I really want to talk about is the backdrop, uh, the galaxy backdrop. If you see behind it. As these videos have gone on and I've made them, we've ended up with more and more and more stars in the background. A lot densely packed, a lot more densely packed. Um, certainly a lot busier. And it's, it's odd because you expect space to be empty because that's what we're used to. But obviously the further you get in, the more you're going to see. Now here we have some footage of what it looks like when you fly past a black hole. And you can see it going past the galactic plane there and the lensing effect. Definitely unusual. Um, but kind of the, the further you get away from it, the, the further you move on, the less effective it is. Now, I haven't tested to see how close I can get to one because um, it doesn't seem like a particularly great idea, if I'm honest. Um, when is flying into a black hole ever been uh, recommended by anyone? Um, I don't think they have. Okay. Um, so, again, this is kind of some more, more fly-by footage of a black hole um, with very little behind it. All you can kind of see is that rippling effect as it goes. And that's kind of it. Um, I don't know what I was expecting when I found my first one. I kind of, I don't know. I was expecting this big roaring sound, seeing the universe being sucked into this small little spot, um, but it's certainly not how it looked in the end. And here we have um, what a neutron star looks like as you fly past it. Um, very, very similar due to the dense kind of gravitational nature of it. Um, but yeah, in the middle of that, there's a neutron star, which are barely visible, in fact. Um, this is just an unusual looking planet that I saw. Um, weirdly, it kind of reminds me of uh, reminded me of my Warhammer days and Nurgle, which is a bit of a oh, ultimate geek out there. Um, but that and kind of Edam cheese, I guess, with it with a green waxy coating on it. So I thought it was worth chucking in, um, just because I'd not seen uh, a rocky planet of this kind of hue and this kind of colour before. Um, definitely, say worth a flyby. Now moving on, um, we've got. Again, another black hole here flying past um, and going through the galactic plane um, because it's it's interesting to look at. Like, is this what it would look like in real life? Do we have any clue what this would actually look like with the sheer gravitational forces? How close would you be able to get to one before you, you know, you're sucked in and you have no way of actually escaping? It's just kind of food for thought. Uh, next up here, we've got a high metal content world, and this is a bit of a break from the normal just black dark volcanic type worlds um, because it's a little bit more I guess settled it might be an older planet and it's still got those, oh, those quite large patches of activity on them volcanic activity and um, it, it is again kind of like magma and all that kind of stuff having a look at the system information um, definitely a an unusual looking planet and I'm looking forward to when we can land on a bigger large variety of planets as I've said before um, landing on a planet like this would be absolutely fantastic. I can only imagine what it would be like jumping an SRV into a pool of lava by accident. That would certainly be something to see. So, um, carrying on as we do. Um, here we have something I just want to point out. On the galactic plane, a sudden, almost a right angle of, of concentration of stars. Um, I, I guess that could happen, that could be what it's like. But worth mentioning, because very few people pay attention to what's in the background. Um, they look at the planet in front of them, and that's kind of it. Speaking of the planet in front of them, I uh, found another Earth-like out here. Um, this one's actually orbiting a, um, a neutron star, I believe, um, which I thought was kind of worth, worth chucking in there. Okay, moving on to the strangest thing that I found this week. Um, this is a T-Towery star, but it has rock and ice rings around it. Uh, some of this is something I've never seen before, and so I thought I'd go in and have a closer look, because when I saw it on the system map, I just thought it was totally bizarre. So, it's a star with rings. Odd. Very, very odd. 
Now I wanted to see how close I could get um, because you know normally you can go into any any ring and just have a fly around inside it. Um, and I did a few flybys beforehand, um, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Um, and this is an undiscovered system. I've found an awful lot of undiscovered stuff recently, which has been fantastic. Um, I, I guess that, I mean, there are so many different routes on your way to Sagittarius A, and I took a bit of a detour as well. Um, so here we have got a bit of a flyby shot again, um, and the, the star itself has got. It's not just pure white, um, it's kind of almost got like blue streaks in it as if it's like veins, which is kind of weird. Um, you can't really see the video though, unfortunately, uh, due to compression and stuff like that. Now, um, flying past it, um, my heat did go up, and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drop into the rings um, like underneath it because of the, the, the heat that I'd pick up. Um, but my heat ran, got to around about 62% at maximum, um, so I wasn't too close to it. Um, but definitely a really weird experience, something coming across you know, coming across something like that. Odd. Um, so this is actually whilst I'm inside the rings. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a, a, a look at what the horizon looks like when you're in there. Um, it looks kind of brutal in a way. I mean this would be a fantastic setting for some um, resource extraction site work. I have no idea what the mineral composite of the, um, of the rocks are though. Um, but certainly good fun, good fun, really interesting stuff. Um, and one of my final kind of flybys in this, this week's episode is going to be just these two stars that I saw and they were in perfect line um, when I dropped into the system so I had to literally just fly over the top of them so I thought I'd uh, have a little look um, and share this one with you guys um, before I finish up with my kind of real round up of the video as usual. Um, these two stars both, well, one's, a, one's a red dwarf and one's a, a yellow giant I think, I don't know if that's what they're classified as. Um, but yeah, two different types of stars really close together. There was a third one that was like 400,000 light seconds out, so not really worth looking at. Uh, to finish up with, just, a, just an earth like there, and I'll do my usual roundup as I do. Um, so once again, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you're finding this interesting. If you are, leave me a comment and let me know. If you've got any questions about some of the things I've found or haven't spoken about, but you've seen something and you want to know, do drop me a comment. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. As I said before, I do try and get back to people in about 12 hours. Um, time time work real life allowing um, I'm currently around about I guess maybe 6,000 to 5,000 light years away from Sagittarius A now getting there I said the detour um, definitely got me some interesting stuff as you can see um, well worth it remember guys like and subscribe for more stuff um, certainly I'll have more exploration content coming soon and when I get back to the bubble I'm going to be looking at um, obviously upgrading my ship um, I'm going to do a little thing about up handing in my exploration data because no doubt there's going to be an absolute ton of it so once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time